hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to be configuring some named standard ACLs and I remember I did an activity on how to configure um, standard ACLs but they were not named but we were using we were actually using just um, numbers to configure those standard ACLs and before I start this video I want to give a shout out to my latest subscribers um, Shout out to Singh, Mishra, and Mishra. I guess they are, um, I don't know if they are related. If they are just, if they are related and you're watching this video, just give me a, leave me a comment below on this video. Just, I just wanted to know if you guys are related. Okay, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't, so go ahead and subscribe. I have over... 80 videos on the CCNA topics and I have a bunch of activities here and also if you have a Twitter account uh, be a nice person and follow me on Twitter as well at CCNA daily tips this is where I post a lot of my videos quizzes and questions on CCNA topics um, I post about um, 5 to 10 daily posts on my Twitter account Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this activity. And in this activity, like I said before, we are going to be configuring some names, standard ACLs, okay? And this is the background scenario. So the senior network administrator has, has tasked you to create a standard name ACL to prevent access to a file server. All clients from one network and one specific workstation from a different network should be denied access okay so um, configure and apply a name standard ACL first we have to verify connectivity before the SEL is configured and apply so all three workstations should be able to ping both the web server and the file server so let's take a look at that so all three workstations should be able to ping um, should be able to ping the web server which is this IP address. Let's go ahead and ping. Let's see if we are able to ping from P this PC too and from this PC as well. And as you can see, we are able to ping. Let's take a look over here. We are able to ping. And from here we were able to pin as well let's see if we are able to pin this file server over here just copy this ping paste that right here i just copy it just the same way we did it do it from this pc as well and do it from this pc as well so there you go we are able to ping from this pc from this pc and from pc2 as well so we have connectivity to both the web server and the file server okay let's see what we have to do next now we are going to configure name standard ACL okay so let me just copy this and we are going to do this from router 1 let's go ahead to router 1 make this bigger so you guys can see config T um, access list standard let me see access list um, nope you have to configure an IP access list and then we have to name it standard and then we're going to paste the name of it which I got from here okay if we want you can even move it over here to this side okay now we are inside the access list as you can see right here this changed to standard access list and now what we need to do is permit host 192.168.20.4 and then we're going to deny any all right and then we have to apply this access list to the fast ethernet 01 so we can just go from here internet uh, interface fast ethernet 01 
IP access list, asset access group, I'm sorry. And we can just paste this, which is the name of this, of the standard list, file server restrictions. Incomplete command, I forgot, we have to put out. Here we go. And now we can verify the configuration by doing, let's go back, by doing a, we can do, we can do n show access list we can see that we have the one that we configure with the name of file server restrictions and what we did was we permit host 192.168.20.4 and then we deny the rest so this is the only host that's going to have access okay and then you can either also do a show IP interface facet than 01 we can do that as well show IP interface Fast than a zero one. And from here, let's see if we can find the access list. Here we go. The outgoing access list is file server restrictions. And the inbound, we have not set anything for the inbound. And now, uh, all three workstations should be able to ping the web server, but only PC1 should be able to ping the file server. Let's go ahead and verify that. So all three of should be able to ping this one, but only PC1 should be able to ping the file server. Let's go ahead and go to PC2. Is PC2 able to ping? It's not able to ping the file server. Let's see PC0. Let's see PC2 now. Okay, what about the website, we are able to pin the website from here. Let's see if we are able to pin the website from here. Yep. How about this one? Okay. So let's take a look. Let's see if we have completed this correctly. Check the results. And congrats. You successfully completed the packet tracer activity. Configure name, access list. Okay, so this is all for this video. Uh, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.